So we're going to have some fun and un unwrap this box of tricks. Hey, Julianne, how you going? You're down in Christchurch. So what, what do you think of the exciting lockdown here in New Zealand? Thank you, Donna. I think you're probably right. We may be in for a little bit longer. I know up here in Auckland, we have at least seven days ahead of us. So I guess we'll find out tomorrow what uh, the immediate future holds. But for now, this is the Mahjong set we talked about the last time I, I saw you when we went to the gaming store. So would you like to see inside? Forever, and nobody's ever played with it. I am so excited. Are you ready, guys? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's never been played with. Okay, so I'm sure you don't need to look at that part. But it's kind of cool that it's still here. Yes, ma'am. Would you like to look at that first? Mahjong. Okay, what would you like to look at first? All right. So, what are we looking at here? What's this row here? Yes, that makes sense. And uh, what would the proper name for this tile be? Mm-hmm. So somebody had to go and flip it, and then it became a flip the bird thing. Huh. Now, I've just taken my hearing aids out so that the audio is available to both platforms. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so now, um, I may not be able to hear you as well. I'm sorry, Julianne. <laughs> That's okay. But I hope you can still hear me. Now, um, in mm. what would the traditional... Um, words be for calling this family of tiles i don't know anything about mahjong so you can teach me from the word go if you're well if you're keen oh when you say traditional you mean how it's called in chinese or how yes. it's called in english? um depending on which part of china you come from it sounds different okay so um, I think in Cantonese, we just call it, um, oh, what do we call it in Cantonese? I actually forgot. That's okay. I was just curious. Uh, we'll come back later, maybe. <laughs> yeah. All right. But yeah, that's the bamboo tiles. So you have one, two, three, four, five there. Mm -hmm. And then there's six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So oh. the numbers go from one to nine. That's cool. They're on these wee little trays. Yes. And look, it even has the original paper in between. Good heavens. <laughs> well, it just proves they've never been played before. Though. Yes. This was found in the attic of my grandparents' house. So it's kind of exciting. All right. So what do we have here? Oh, this has been moving around with me for probably 20 years. So... <laughs> I wow. can't imagine how old this is. Let's see. Inside, okay. it says, 
copyright 1920 to 1922, 1923 is the last copyright in here. So around 100 years old. Not too bad, huh? <laughs> a hundred year old mahjong set. Great. Cool, huh? At least it proves the game has been around that long. <laughs> Even longer, huh? So what okay. are these tiles? These look quite a bit different. Yes, these are the character tiles. They are what we call the wind tiles. So the first row that's S, that's for south, and for north, W for west, and E for east. All right. And what would, um, if you were playing the game with uh, another group of people who spoke the language of the, <laughs> of the tiles, what would the proper words be? Well, in Mandarin or Hua, mm -hmm. then if I were to read them, it will say Nan Bei Xi Dong. Yeah. Okay. If I were to say this in Cantonese, then it would be Lam Bak Sai Dong. Okay, so that has some similar sounding ones, but not all of them sound the same. Yes. Very and cool. If I were Say this in another dialect, which is Hakka. That's the other one that I know. Um, I think it would sound like Lam Bet Si Dong. So it sounds very close to Cantonese, except for a slight change in the intonation. That's so cool. Yeah. And I think there are also other ways to say it in Fujianese and Teochew, but I don't know them, so I'm not going to. Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> so what's this next one? Oh, that's the the blank tiles. Mm -hmm. I think in this case, those are just blanks for uh, in case you need to get them replaced. Like oh, okay. you lost a tile. Yeah. So you just would, it's almost like the Scrabble tile. It'll it be anyone? Be okay. like that. Yeah. On the other hand, I want to see more of the set because there is a type of tile that is kind of like a blank tile, but there's still some picture on it, not completely blank like that. All right. So, so let's come back to the blank tile in a minute. Let's let's do the next row. Are these all related or are we starting a new set like we had the bamboo set on the first uh, tray? The bamboo set is one family by itself. Mm -hmm. uh, the four wind tiles are... Um, is that these? The four wind tiles are, are on their own. Now, this one is a little bit different if you're green and red characters. Because usually they say something completely different than what you have. Okay. 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 So, so what do we have and what do they normally say? Your set for the green one, it says Phoenix. So this is Phoenix. And the red one, yeah, and the red one is Dragon. Oh, I like that. Dragon and so Phoenix. So Dragon and Phoenix is usually a pair in most uh, Chinese sayings and uh, it's usually used to symbolize like, uh, you know, couples, people get married, that kind of thing. Okay. So the guy would be the dragon and the girl would be the phoenix. I didn't know that. What a neat tidbit. And, right, and the characters that you see on all these are written in traditional Chinese, not simplified Chinese. Okay. So traditional Chinese is mostly used um, officially in Taiwan and Hong Kong, and simplified Chinese is used in mainland China. Um, it is also being taught in Southeast Asia, where where I went to school in the Chinese school, so we were taught simplified Chinese. All right. But then we read books and novels from Hong Kong and Taiwan, so then we learned to recognize the traditional Chinese characters, which is what you have now. That's really neat. So is it quite a bit simpler to read the simplified than the traditional? It's simpler because there are less strokes, so it makes it easy for people to learn how to write it. But okay. 
there are some changes where it's completely different and so you can't even tell their word <laughs> wow that's that's yeah. got to be a little bit exciting and complicated <laughs> well it's yeah so what about this last two so okay, we're out of the so bamboo the first, set the first uh row of mm -hmm. the red ones those are the four seasons so the oh. number one is spring so spring summer autumn winter or fall if you're in the u.s then you say fall instead of autumn yes <laughs> excellent um yeah so one two three four is spring summer fall autumn winter and uh the next row uh i'm trying to see what it looks like do you need them mm. up closer yeah Okay, so this is also something that is unique to this set. Um, these pictures in this set just say uh, Chinese mahjong. Okay. So number one and number two put together means Chinese, and then number three and number four put together means mahjong. Okay. Um, the reason why we have the numbers, it also has to do with how you score and which position you sit when you play the game. Okay. So yeah. I I recognize Chung is Gor? Chung Gor? No, Chunghua. 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 And then yeah. what are these two? That's the Chinese word for Ma Zhong. So three is Ma. Ma. Yeah. And the number four is well, it says ma chue, which means sparrow, but that's kind of how it's written, but we just call it ma tiang, okay. which is um, uh, ma zhong, really. Cool. To those of mm -hmm. you guys who are just joining in, we are celebrating all kinds of tiles, and um, today we are reviewing the cool Parker Brothers ma zhong set with a true connoisseur. So this set is about 100 years old. And we are learning all about what kind of treasures are in this box. All right, Julianne, what do we have here? So this is what most people call it the circle set, because they're all circles or dots, whatever okay. you want to call them. Um, in Mandarin, we will call them tongzi. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, and in Cantonese, they will just be called uh, tongji. So basically, yeah, if I were to say this in in Mandarin, it'll be yi tong, er tong, san tong. So one, two, three dots, four dots, five circles. Dots, okay, right? yeah. Um, and when we were playing, I think uh, we used to give them all kinds of nicknames. Hey, really? So for example, uh, one, because it's just a single dot, uh, we used to sometimes call it either pizza or the moon or you know any kind of round shape thing that people associate with oh, okay so, what about yeah, a plate it could, it could be a plate <laughs> okay. um but it'll also be you know a cookie or a biscuit you know really nice big chocolate chip one probably <laughs> <laughs> sounds good <laughs> yeah uh, so uh so yeah number one gets quite a bit get quite a few nicknames uh, two, three, four, maybe not so much. Uh, and then if you move on to like eight, eight also gets some nicknames. Okay. Um, so eight would be, I've heard some people call it rolls of toilet paper, which kind of looks like <laughs> toilet paper. So I'm like, okay, one roll of toilet paper coming up. That means you discarded a eight circle tile. Huh. Uh, and then nine, I guess, can be, you know, trays of muffins. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So you've got muffin tray, toilet paper roll, and uh, yeah. <laughs> funny, and toilet paper, how funny, because we're in lockdown, yada, yada. Now, yeah. mm. I just noticed this while you were talking. These all have different characters in the middle. Can you tell me more about that? 
Um, I'm trying to see what they are. Can you bring it closer to the camera? All right, let's go to um, top ones first. Is that good enough? Okay. Yeah, that one, that character looks like, like from, you know, from one place to another, from okay. something to another. Yeah. And then the, this one looks like the character for, uh, Mahjong, the Ma in Mahjong. Okay. Yeah. And then. The next two put together means freedom. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So I don't know. That looks quite random. And people so, usually put all kinds of designs on the uh, one circle tile. But I've this is the first time I've seen actual characters on it because it's usually just your standard picture on it. Fair enough. But yeah, here we've got freedom from toilet paper. <laughs> and tray of muffins. And a tray of muffins. All yeah. right. Shall we look at the next tray? Yeah. All right. I didn't realize they were these were on trays. How fun. Okay. So what do we have here? Oh, these are numbers. These are the Chinese character tiles. So okay. they're a whole family by itself. And the ones in blue are all the Chinese numbers. Uh-huh. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, nine will be, yeah, down there. The interesting thing about this particular uh, set of Chinese characters is the red one. So the red one means uh, 10,000. Okay. And usually that is written in traditional Chinese, but for whatever reason, they wrote it in simplified Chinese in your version. All right. So... We have what? Yi? Uh, I've forgotten. R. R. Uh, mm -hmm. Blast. I should have practiced. Sun. Sun. Si. Si. Yeah. All right. Wu. Wu. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Boy. Liu. Liu. Yes. Chi. 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 Oh, yeah. Chi. Mm -hmm. Ba. Yeah. And blast. I know. Jiu. Jiu. Yeah, but you'll have to show the last two tiles because they're not on camera. Oh, shivers. Whoops. And I'm sorry I keep hitting the camera. This is my first one. Guys, so anybody who's joining, say thank you from us. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so the last three is qi ba, qi ba jiu. Yes. And then what's that? Million, thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand thousand. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. All right. So now, okay, so some of these things look like they've escaped. So what are these okay, little those, things? Those look like points sticks. Okay, so it's um, similar to some sort of currency in the game? No, and actually, I have to say that seeing these sticks makes me think that there's going to maybe be an element of Japanese mahjong mixed into it. Okay. Because um, the Chinese ones don't have sticks. Oh, okay. But the Japanese ones play with sticks. So I... On the other hand, because there's so many of them, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think this one I'll have to... We'll have to look at the rule book and see how they do the scoring. The traditional Yo Chinese set is they all comes they all come in the scoring part comes in discs. Okay, so these so would be have, the same sort of message, but in a different shape. Um, maybe yeah. How many types do you see? I see a hundred. 
there's a hundred, ten, two, uh -huh. five hundred, just from right. what's in the box already. Um, let's see. There's a, there a be die. Like a few denominations. There should be at least two dies. All right. Oh, yep. There's another one. Woo. Okay. Right. This part of the box is failing a little bit, but man, if the box is nearly 100 years old, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, they really make things that last. <laughs> True. All right. Uh, I think there's a five in there. Okay. So yeah, there will be a number of denominations, right? You got hundreds, tens, fives, twos. So. I would say that this would be instead of the round disks that we use to calculate scoring. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I'm just picking a guess. Fair enough. You have much better guess than I, so I, I'm so thankful that you joined us to talk about this. So you said you wanted to look at the rule book. And yes, I, are there any pictures in that rule book that teaches people how to play? Let's see. Well, there's sort of the basic, um, mm -hmm. what we've just gone through. And then here's about the sticks. Uh, so, so if you bring it, if you bring it back to the previous page, you can see that the blank tile is part of the game. I see, you're right. Yeah, so in this case, that blank tile would be what I think is uh, that we use, which is you can score with three of a kind or four of a kind. So three dragons, three phoenixes, three blank tiles. Okay. A little yeah. bit like one of those other games that we've played at the gaming store, right? <laughs> But we had to match the yeah. color or the shape. <laughs> yeah, so mahjong is usually played between, well, it's usually played with four people. Okay. Um, so each person occupies one side of a square table. Mm -hmm. And that's why you also have the wind directions because each person will be seated at a particular direction. Okay. And so similar to the um, you know north south east west and and that's how people do the scoring now um in malaysia i don't know where else but in malaysia you can get by with just playing with three people uh, okay but four is usually the optimum number and you can't do five so it's, it's quite restrictive in the sense where you either get four or you have no game and and if you live in uh, places where they play three people then you can still play with three but you can't play with two and you can't play with five so in this sense it's quite um different from most of the other board games where the numbers are usually you know two to four one to five kind of thing but yeah mahjong is not like well, one of the people watching mentioned something that I used to um, think as well, in that Mahjong is a a game of solitaire that you play by yourself. Now, does anybody play alone? Not the actual game, no, you can't, because the solitaire is, is solitaire, and if they just <laughs> use the Mahjong tiles... <laughs> well, that's what I used to do. Into the solitaire game. But but the actual game of Mahjong is nothing like solitaire. It's actually quite good. It's good for your, you know, like math calculation because you have to figure out the scoring, who is having oh, okay. one. And it's usually in multiples of like square root of two or something. So you go like two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two kind of thing. Oh, so is, is it good for school? And people learning, is it used uh, for uh, educational purposes or is it just good for keeping a memory sharp as we um, age? 
yeah, I, I think it's it's never really used for educational purposes, not that I can think of, um, because there is the uh, gambling aspect to it. You know, like you can score, but then people would say, "Oh, it's no fun if there's no money involved." <laughs> so, is that what these these pieces are for then? Needing money? Yeah, it, it depends on how you uh, how you calculate the score and how you equate that to uh, a dollar value. Uh, okay. So I know like in my family, for instance, we would play for, let's say, 5,000 points equivalent to $5. Okay. So if you lost 5,000 points, um, you would have, if you would have effectively lost $5. So that's that. Okay. And not too, too bad. No. But of course, if some people who are, really into gambling, they may say, no, 5,000 points equals $500. It's okay. only <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you could see like that there is a gambling aspect, but the game, it is an interesting game. Okay. It is. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. is there anything else that you wanted to see? Um, you mentioned the scoring thing, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, the pictures up there, I think, are the, the numbers that I talked about. Mm -hmm. Did they mention anything about how, if they're used in scoring? Because I would imagine so. All right. They're the same. Oh. So, yeah, here you got counters. So, 2, 10, 100, 500, and then uh, 2000, 2000, huh? Okay. Yeah. And then, okay. Well, this looks like an exciting game. I am definitely going to have to learn a lot more than I know <laughs> okay. now. That is for sure. All right. All so, right. Is that, do you want to go through the, how to play the whole game in this video too? Or no. How about we do that on a separate video? This is a good one for just the unboxing. And then maybe yeah, we can yeah. um, maybe we can visit each other again online because it looks like we'll probably have a little bit more time at home, won't we? Uh, probably. Okay. So, yeah, I think the game will probably be complicated enough for um, – another video perfect julie yeah. ann thank you so much for joining me tonight we really appreciate this uh, chance to review the mahjong um i wanted to share this with my mom who's joined a mahjong group and um mm -hmm. for some reason i ended up with the family mahjong set simply because i like to play mahjong solitaire on my computer just like my friend yeah. donna so I um, okay. <laughs> really appreciate you giving us this little um, in, uh, introduction, I say, to my own. You're welcome. I'll see you another time. Have fun. All right. Thanks for Thanks. having me over. Yep. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for joining.